So we're starting off this video with a very, very sad beginning. So we've been following this really, really rad, super low S14 with an SR here, just because we know he's gonna have a miserable time on this dirt road. Tell me, can you get up? All right, all right I, I gotta film this. Poor let's, guy. Let's get closer here. Guys, it's not funny, all right? <laughs> Imagine being in his shoes. It'd be so rad if they had like a valet service where they come with a flatbed and pick up your low car so they can bring it to Super D. <laughs> We couldn't bear to watch his kit falling off, so we offered to just take it in the truck. So what I want to try doing is pushing a little bit more to the outside of the track. I noticed my line's a little bit shallow on that big first entry. So I'm gonna work on that a couple times, and then I'm gonna start tandeming with some people. I just want to make sure I'm very confident in the track and like my line is great. It's, it's actually the same size, so I guess that's kind of okay, but that sucks. At least the paint's good. Close the door all the way and see how it looks. Watch out. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty good. Damn. I wouldn't sweat it. No, you got a lot better. It's a little baking. Oh, yeah, that, that's not bad. I can tell this with the, with the creases, with the body lines, you're never going to fix it. So, yeah. RIP. Where, where's the damage on your car? Uh, I just got a little bit of your tire on my Lone Star Grip sticker. Wait, oh, get out of here, man. Get out of here. It's a lot of fun driving today. It's really hot. Um, I know you guys like different angles, so I'm going to try to do a foot cam. I don't have the proper GoPro mounts, though, so I don't know if that's going to work. But I'm gonna try to do that in some different like outside GoPro angles and just go have more fun on the track and get more comfortable tandeming. All right, so I'm gonna try to do a foot cam for you guys. Um, this track's very technical, so I use left foot brake way more than I normally do on a solo run. Usually use it the most on a tandem run, so this will just be kind of chill. I'll try to drive a little bit more aggressive than normal, just so it looks cool.
don't want to switch to those SD notes since I don't have that many. And I want to make the kendos last, but I don't have enough grip on that first corner. So uh, Chelsea recommended we pull off the sway bar. So I'm gonna give that a shot. It's supposed to help with side bite. I might lose a little bit forward bite, but side bite's what I really need on this track since it's just corner, 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 corner. And I'm not trying to like be faster. But Chelsea's about to go out now. So. All right, so we found out that there's no driving from 6 to 9.30 because of the team tandem comp. So I figured I might as well do the team tandem comp and conveniently enough, Chelsea and Jeff needed one more extra member. So I'm gonna join them for the team tandem comp. I am nervous though because I haven't driven my car. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys, I unhooked my rear sway bar for a little bit more like side bike uh, and I didn't really get to test it. So I hope it works well. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. You don't get like one. I know, that'd be rad, right? I wish we could do practice. We never even like all drove together ever, so we don't even know what order we want to run. It's what, gonna be sick. What, how many people? It's a three, three person team tandem comp. How many, how many teams? Oh, good question. What friend. time does the team tandem comp go until? I don't know, it starts like now. I'm just trying to figure out when we're gonna eat dinner. I really wish I cleaned my windshield because I can't really see much. This is gonna be really fun. I, I chose to be in back just because I didn't really know how the car's gonna act with the sway bar and everything. Hopefully it works well. I'm just gonna send it. I'm gonna send you out for a practice lap. They're gonna hold you guys at the start line, the beginning of the straightaway. We're gonna go for another lap and that's the judge one. So you get one lap. Okay, perfect, oh. thank you. See that? No, there's nothing wrong. I'm just talking about how dirty it is. Oh, I didn't. You didn't hit him. Is it in my wheel? No, I, we did hit him. Yeah, but was it my wheel? Probably, because there's nothing wrong. Let's go wash. Let's go talk to him. I feel even worse because there's no damage on my car. Chelsea. That's good. You don't have to fix your car. Oh man. I thought this was metal at first, so I was like feeling really, I mean, I still feel terrible, yeah, but this is just wrap. This yeah. might like buff right off actually. Yeah. Oh man, okay, I blew but... it. That was you our one shot. You did blow it, I will say that you blew it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not mad about it. I thought it make a great thumbnail. I love the fact that you're tandeming with this like hanging out the window. I got the window. Yeah, I saw it. On the right handers, you're like, oh, I guys so much dust on the windshield, you use the windshield wipes. Oh no! One of the really cool things that me and Tommy were just talking about about coming here, Tommy, you can be in the video. Tommy, what's so cool about this? Wait, what part? Oh, the fact that nothing matters. Oh yeah, it's not a competition. So like, we can just hang out or drive or go eat or do whatever without being in a rush or even... Wait, it, it doesn't matter if, yeah. if, if the car breaks. If I get 5,000 laps versus like 10 laps, we came here, met a bunch of rad people, got to drive, filmed some clips, probably got a little bit better at driving because this track's very challenging and uh, got to hang out with people like so it's win 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 the only way that this could not i can't think of a way yeah yeah i can think of a way but i'm not gonna say it because yeah that's that's kind of the same but yeah. i was gonna nope. all right we'll nope. stop there yep.
because of that little hit with Chelsea yesterday, I'm gonna start off the morning with a little bit of a bolt check, just kinda checking everything, see if anything bent, any tie rods, any PBM stuff, just to make sure, probably check the alignment and stuff. Can't really tell how dirty my car is from the outside. You go and look at the engine bay. Oh boy, she's dirty. She's filthy. Just bleeding it every morning. I think I might have a little like water leak somewhere, just enough to where I'm kind of just being cautious even though it might not. So my car was getting a little hot and just as I suspected, the same fitting that was having an issue before um, is leaking a little bit of water. I don't know if we'll be able to just tighten it. It's really hard to see on the camera or if um, I'll need to replace it, but same one I had an issue with last time. We couldn't find a, a 90 degree dash six, but we were able to find a 45. Rather than putting it here and then having the line just like sitting on the manifold, I just pulled the 90 off this side and I'm putting the 45 on this side and like we should still be chilling. So, let me yeah. try. It kind of looks like there's oil in the coolant. I don't know. Well, can you replace the head gasket? Probably not. Is he over exaggerating? It's possible. It's possible. I think we can make it last. But like the other stops? Yeah. But it's possible. I like that leaky fitting could have done it. But yeah, I know.
death right there. I could not see anything. I was just, I knew that there was someone coming up fast behind me, and I was just like, oh, I'm going through the cloud, and it worked. I think they hit, unfortunately, but I escaped unscathed. I'm trying to burn off my last Estinos for the day. Incredibly more grip using them as opposed to the Kendas, where I was having to kind of like, just be a little bit gentle with it, but the Zestinos air down to like 10 PSI, flicking it in. What do we have here? Yeah, he signed it for me. I bring it over to him and he goes, oh, good driver. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Holy crap, did my car get the crap beaten out of it. But oh my gosh, did I have a blast. I'm gonna do a quick walk around so you guys can kind of see the little dirty damage that we got going on. So this, I don't remember what day this was, but my basketball fix got some more love. We're dented in a little bit more here. Looks like just tire mark on the door that should come off. That's good. Uh, walking around, we've got all the paint bubbling up on my fender, chipping off, just getting ready for the over fender. All right, coming back, we have what's left of my bumper. The rest we have signed, and we may drift stitch back together just for hot boy points. Walking around, not looking too bad. Over here, I notice we've got some love in here. It's dented right in here. I think this was the uh, same, I don't remember what this was actually. But yeah, that kind of sucks, but over fenders, right? Um, I think the bumper, yeah, the bumper doesn't cover this. So, bummer, that sucks. Okay, walking around. Um, yeah, this stuff, pretty solid. Got lucky with this, just like cracked the fender a little bit. Um, pretty solid though. Uh, front bumper, no cracks. Great testament to origin quality. So, all right, the rear bumper. Yeah, I showed the other half of the rear bumper. Um, I'll pop the hood, it's pretty filthy, but then you guys can see in there. But overall, compared to how some of the cars wound up like in the walls and stuff, I lucked out. Escaped some near car collisions. Oh boy, <laughs> look at that. We got some sweet mud splatter valve cover going on. Um, I never really told you guys about this, but there was, uh, let's just say, there's not the proper silicone on my front cover, so it gets a little moist around there and now. Oh wow, look at all that dirt. Can you like hose this down? Uh, I don't, I mean, I it's what most people would do. This. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, look at that new Gen 3 brown Garrett Turbo. That's sick. Gonna need to clap out that filter. See if my blow-off valve even works anymore with all this dirt. That's dirty. Whew. Funny thing is, you can't see the dirt on the outside of my car because it's desert dirt and my car's cream and you can't see the dirt in the engine bay because my engine bay is brown. Oh, you can see it. People, th oh, oh, people thought it was crazy. Can't see it. Somehow my car stood up to three highly abusive days of driving on a very narrow track where it was very easy to break stuff. Had about like maybe three or four collisions, but in the end of the day, got so much seat time, had so much fun. I feel like I really pushed my driving. Got some awesome footage. I got to drive with Chelsea, got to drive with Stonebeck, got to drive with all the animal style dudes, Nakamura, like, Met so many rad people, met so many of you guys. Um, honestly, like, if we went right home after this, I would probably call this a worthwhile trip. But, however, uh, that's only three drift days and we still have four more to go before we head back to Orlando. And uh, yeah, knock on wood, I hope the SR is gonna hold up. It does have some questionable things going on with it, but um, I'll keep you guys posted. Also forgot to mention that uh, I think my boo solenoid gave out and I was running that whole entire event at spring pressure. So my car is only making about 16 PSI when it should have been making closer to like 22. Um, pretty rad though because it probably saved a lot of wear and tear on my transmission and that was more than enough power for the track. So I'll keep you guys posted. Tomorrow I think you guys will probably see a video It'll be rather interesting. I'm not going to say what it is, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Put a lot of time into editing, going through all the footage, and trying to keep it interesting with different angles and stuff. So make sure you let me know if you liked it. Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback, and I'm super hyped on this one. So thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.